three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody and welcome to Mission Control for an Avalite's troubleshooting video. In this video we're going to discuss the Intel driver issue and its fix. Intel's issued a driver update for their built-in graphics cards that may cause issues with Titan starting up. If you try and launch a PC Suite application, the Sim, Titan 1, Titan Go, and the mobile, and it does not completely start up and stays on the pulsing gray Titan screen, and check in the task manager for Windows if you see the one app dot igcc.winservice and or the Intel Graphics Command Center service, you'll need to perform the following fix to allow Titan to run again. This driver update may come through a Windows update or by installing Intel drivers manually. The driver's lockup ports required by Titan to run correctly. After confirming in the Task Manager of Windows, Control alt delete on the keyboard, then select Task Manager from the pop-up list that the oneapp.igcc win service and or the Intel Graphics Command Center service are running do the following. In Task Manager, click the Services tab. Then at the bottom, click the Open Services link. In the Services window that open, find the Intel Graphics Command Center service. Double-click on it. And then when that opens, change the startup from Automatic to Disabled. Then click Apply. Close the Intel Graphics Command Center service properties window and the Services window and then restart the computer. Now Titan should launch and run correctly. So let's see that on a computer. I already have the task manager open, so if I scroll down here, we can see that I have the Intel Graphics Command Center service running on my computer. So then go ahead and click the Services tab, and then down at the bottom, click the Open Services. And then in the Services window, I want to look for the Intel Graphics Command Center service. Here we see it here. We go ahead and double click on it. And then go ahead and change the startup type from automatic to disabled. And then click apply. You go ahead and close both these windows. And then go ahead and restart the computer. After restarting, Titan should launch and run correctly now. Through our testing, disabling this service does not seem to have any adverse effects. If you have graphical errors outside of Titan, you may wish to do the steps, but change from disabled to automatic and restart the computer again, and then perform the fix again next time you need to run Titan. That has been how to fix the Intel driver issue on the PC suite for Titan. Thanks for joining us. Please subscribe. See you next time. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.